Introduction Do you know, my father is suffering from diabetes. Oh, was your grandfather also diabetic? I don't know, but why do you want to know that? I wanted to know if your father has inherited diabetes from his parents. How can anyone inherit disease? Disease can be inherited by the transfer of genetic material from parents to their offsprings. Let me explain you in details. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Understand the discovery of DNA as genetic material. Understand the structure of polynucleotide chain, RNA and DNA. Identify central dogma. Understand the packaging of DNA in the nucleus. Understand Griffith's transforming principle. Understand Hershey and Chase experiment. Identify the differences between DNA and RNA. Identification of DNA as genetic material In 1869, Frederick Mesher identified DNA as an acidic material in the nucleus and named as nuclein. Morris Wilkins and Rosalind Franklin produced X-ray crystallographic images of DNA. Erwin Chagoff reported that the ratio between adenine and thymine and guanine and cytosine are constant and equal to one in a double-stranded DNA. Using these propositions, James Watson and Francis Crick determined the double helical structure of DNA in 1953. Polypeptide chain A polynucleotide chain can be formed in the following steps. A polypeptide chain has phosphate moiety at one free end of ribose sugar. This is known as five end of polynucleotide chain. Other free end of ribose sugar has attached OH group. This is called three end of polynucleotide chain. Structure of DNA DNA is made up of two polynucleotide chains with sugar phosphate backbone. The two polymers runs anti-parallel, that is, one polymer has 5' prime to 3' prime polarity, while the other polymer has 3' prime to 5' prime polarity. The two polymers show complementary base pairing, where base pairs are bonded with hydrogen bonds. The two chains are coiled in a right-handed fashion. Bases are paired in the helix after every 0.34 nanometers and the helix turns after every 3.4 nanometers. There are roughly 10 base pairs in each turn of helix. The plane of one base pair stacks over the other in double helix. Central Dogma Central Dogma refers to the flow of genetic information in the following manner. It was proposed by Francis Crick. Packaging of DNA helix in prokaryotes A typical mammalian cell DNA double helix has a length of about 2.2 meters. How is it accumulated in a small nucleus? DNA is a prokaryotic cell. In prokaryotes, DNA is organized in large loops and is held by proteins in nucleoids. Packaging of DNA helix in eukaryotes. In eukaryotic nucleus, 
histones are organized to form a unit of eight molecules called histone octema. DNA negatively charged gets wrapped around the octema to form nucleosome. Repeating units of nucleosomes form thread-like structures in the nucleus called chromatin. The nucleosomes in chromatin are seen as beads on string under electron microscope. Chromatin is packaged to form chromatin fibers. During metaphase stage, chromatin fibers get condensed to form chromosomes. This condensation requires a set of proteins called non-histone chromosomal proteins. Griffith's Transforming Principle The discovery of the genetic role of DNA began with research by Frederick Griffith in 1928. Frederick Griffith worked on two strains, pathogenic and non-pathogenic, of Streptococcus pneumoniae. Griffith found that when he mixed the heat-killed remains of the pathogenic S strain with living cells of non-pathogenic R strain, some of these cells became pathogenic. Griffith called this phenomenon as transformation. Biochemical Characterization of Transforming Principle Colin MacLeod and MacLean McCarty worked to determine the biochemical nature of Griffith's transforming principle. Hershey Chase Experiment In 1952, Alfred Hershey and Martha Chase performed experiments showing that DNA is the genetic material of a bacteriophage known as T2. They grew some viruses on a medium containing radioactive phosphorus, producing radioactive DNA, and some others on radioactive sulfur containing medium producing radioactive proteins. Radioactive phages were allowed to attach to E. coli bacteria. It was found that bacteria which was infected with viruses that had radioactive DNA were radioactive while radioactive protein infected viruses were not, indicating that DNA was the material that passed from the virus to the bacteria. Properties of genetic material A molecule must fulfill the following criteria to act as a genetic material. It should be able to undergo replication. It should be chemically and structurally stable. It should provide scope for mutation. It should be able to express itself in the form of Mendelian characters. RNA RNA was the first genetic material. Essential life processes and protein synthesizing machinery has evolved around RNA. RNA can act as a genetic material as well as a catalyst. RNA being a catalyst was reactive and unstable. Thus, DNA evolved as a stable genetic material from RNA. Which is a better genetic material, RNA or DNA? These are some characteristics of RNA and DNA. Thus, RNA is better for transmission of genetic information. However, DNA being more stable is preferred for the storage of genetic information. Did you know DNA can be synthesized in test tubes using a small amount of performed DNA, DNA polymerase 
and all the four deoxynucleotides. This helps in purification of DNA polymerase along with the production of biologically active DNA. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. DNA stores genetic information. RNA mostly helps in transfer and expression of information. DNA being chemically and structurally more stable is a better genetic material. DNA is made up of two polypeptide chains. The base pairs in the DNA helix are attached by hydrogen bonding. Complementary base pairing occurs in the DNA helix. Frederick Griffith experimentally worked out the transformation principle.